Hi, welcome to Trachtenberg Speed Map. Today we're going to talk about the Trachtenberg Edition. The Trachtenberg Edition helps us with speed and accuracy because the method is faster because we're not counting as high as we would normally. We can quickly check and double check the answer and because of that we're certain we'll find any errors and we also know that we can correct the result without having to repeat the whole addition. The rule for addition in the Trachtenberg system is never count higher than 11. When the total is 11 or higher, we subtract 11 and continue on with the smaller number. Let's have a look at an example. Now the first thing we do is go down the columns and add each column up. First off, we have 7. Plus 2 is 9. 12. Now we're above 11, so we put a stroke and subtract 11 from the 12, so 12 minus 11 is 1. So we continue on with the 1. Plus 4 is 5, plus 9 is 14. We put another stroke, subtract 11, 14 minus 11 is 3. So we put down 3 for the answer for this column. Now we have two marks, so we'll put down 2 below the answer we got for the column. We go to the next column, we start off, we have 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 7 is 15, we're over 11, so put a mark, subtract 11, 15 minus 11 is 4, continue on, plus 7 is 11, we're at 11, so we'll put a mark and subtract 11, we've got 0, so we'll put 0 for our total, and we have 2 marks, so we'll put down 2. We go to the next column, we start off, we have 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9, so there's the answer for this column, we'll put down 9. We have 0 marks for that column. Last column, we just have the 2, so we'll put down the 2, and we have 0 marks for the column. Now we'll put two leading zeros, just so that we don't miss a step later on. Now the next thing we do is add up our running totals the 2903, we have to add each column of those up with the marks. So we have 3 plus 2 is 5, so we put down 5. Now for the rest of them, we do it in an L shape. So we go 0 plus 2 is 2 plus 2 is 4, so we put down 4. And we continue on doing the L shape. So 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 2 is 11 so we put down 1 and carry the 1. Now the fourth column we have 2 plus 0 is 2 plus 0 is 2 and we have the 1 from the carry so 2 plus 1 is 3 so we put down the 3. Now the reason for the extra zeros is to make sure we don't miss this final L. So we have 0 0 and 0. Okay, we didn't need it. There's our answer. 3,145, we think. We've done the calculation, but now we need to check and possibly double check to make sure we actually did get the right answer. So we have three sections to the addition. We have the top sections here, and then between the two lines we have our working table, and then on the bottom we have our answer. So what we're going to do, first off, is on the columns of numbers that we just added up, we're going to do a digit root. So we'll get rid of any nines, any numbers that add up to nine, and then find out the digit root for each column. So we've got get rid of that nine, and with seven and two we'll get rid of those. Now we have three, plus four is seven, so seven is the digit root for this column. The next column we have no nines or ones that add up to nine, so we have five plus three is eight, plus seven is fifteen, plus seven is twenty-two. Now twenty-two is a double digit number, so two plus two is four, so four is a digit root for this column. For the next column we actually have, well they add up to nine, so we get rid of those, and we have zero for that column. And then the last column we just have a 2, so 2 is the digit root for that one. The second part is to do the digit root of the working table. 
Now this is these columns in here. Now we add the second row twice while we're doing this. So it's 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So 7 is our digit root for this column. We'll put it down the bottom. Next column we have 0 plus 2 is 2 plus 2 is 4. So we have 4. Go to the next column. We have a 9 there. So we'll get rid of that. So we have 0, 0. We don't need to add the 0 twice because it'll still be 0. So we put down 0. Lastly, we have 2 and below it is 0. So we can ignore that. So we just put down the 2. Now we can check the two sets of digit roots. The first one's 2047. The next one's 2047. They match. The first check's OK. So that's our first check. Now we're going to check the answer against one of the other sets of digital roots we calculated. So we have the answer here. So we'll use the digit root set next to it. And we'll do a digit root of both of these numbers. So the 4 and the 5 add up to 9. So we'll get rid of those. And we have 1 plus 3, which is 4. So 4 is the digit root for that. Now we have a look, we have 7 and 2 add up to 9, which leaves us with 4 and 0, which is 4. So our digit root is that is 4. So we have two 4s, so everything's okay. So we've done our addition, we've checked it, and double-checked it. If you'd like to learn some more, we have a lot more at the TrashenbergSpeedMath.com. We have free membership, hundreds of downloadable PDF worksheets. We have more videos like this and you can learn the entire Trachtenberg system online. Thanks for watching.